Welcome to this really, really sneak peek at Ancient Arena's Chariots, which is a game that which will be coming out. I'm not sure when it will be coming out, but this is almost like pre-alpha, what we're actually looking through here. So very, very early days. Um, yeah, still a lot to be done in the game. In fact, I did put up a video the other day. I showed content that I wasn't supposed to show, so um, I've had to take that video down. But... I really do enjoy playing this game, so I don't mind re-recording it. I had already recorded it a couple of times. Uh, there are some little things that don't quite work the way that you want them to work in the game at this stage. But anyway, this is really just an, like a really sneak preview of this game, which I think will be an exceptional game when it does actually hit. This is a the spiritual successor to Quad Rigger, if you ever sort of played that game. I think that one came back out or came out in about 2014, a game I thoroughly enjoyed, uh, but this sort of then takes it into you know, sort of new areas, new graphics, and so on and so forth, which it, it really does. It look, it's got a lot of promise with what we sort of see with this one. So let's just go to a single race. We'll set one of these up. Sometimes these don't work exactly the way that you want, but we'll just play with the default grease um, track in through this side. We'll go uh, three laps, maybe. I'll do a couple of races. I'll do three laps. I'll do four. Actually, let's go try six players. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. And I'll make them all hard. So let's see what actually happens here if we, if we play against hard computers. Actually, let's get a couple of them that are just going to be medium. And um, that way we'll just have a bit of a mix. And we'll just go and pick our chariot. Now, the one I do tend to like is this one here where it's got a little bit more maneuverability. Um, and it, just, it doesn't have quite the same speed. But that's okay in this game. Okay, we can actually start the game. So fingers crossed. So we're in the stadium, sort of looking at the different crowds. And the chariots, of course, there as well. Having this many horses, that this stage the game isn't optimized, so it's sort of uh, it's the this uh, don't don't be put off by uh, like little, an little an anomalies and anomalies anomalies in the game. Uh, just go to this is like oh we're at the back here. Okay, this will make it hard, uh, but we are in the inside running, so we should be able to sort of do okay. Now, one thing we don't want to be doing is getting too close to the guy in front. Let's just go to the sideways view. Uh, what we can do, though, is we can sort of set up something. Let's just go slow speed to start with. So we'll just get this one. This one's going slow as well. We don't want our horses racing into the one in front of it. Now, he's actually whipping his horses. And this one's going crazy going out in front. I'm going to go and, uh, in fact, I've, I can no longer really do much in through here. I've got a bit of a problem with where I actually am. Now, I can actually whip the guy next to me. So whip right, whip the enemy to damage them or to speed them up. So let's go and see if we can actually do some damage this side. I don't think we're going to be able to. No, he's moving too fast now. And this guy's still moving slowly. He's accelerating. But we're, in a, we're in a, not in a very good position here. I'm going to go and um, hit double speed. So let's just go and get our, our acceleration up to four. And four is going to be hard going around the corner. We're going to be coming into this one last. We're sixth of sixth. Oh, this one's already fallen off. This one's going to then hit this one. It's going to try to move across into this other into this other area. This guy's whipping his, which is not the cleverest move. In fact, we're going to go backwards one. You now we've got the inside. Oh, he's just avoided that. <laughs> I don't know where the uh, with. Oh, that one's fallen as well, and we've now got this one right in our way. Um, I'm going to now move across one. Let's just see if we can avoid that. Yeah, we switch across. Oh, he's going to get caught. He's gotten caught. Splat. Big pink sort of splodge there. <laughs> All right, time to accelerate. Let's see what we can do here. So the reins will sort of show on the on the horses that have... Um, that one says it's still holding on, but I think that he's actually now fallen off. And the reins are sort of gone off. Again, don't worry. Don't be worrying a bit too much about what you're sort of seeing through here. So we're now coming third of six. Now we're going at full speed, so we'll just now just go to con the control stance. This one's coming in. And I don't want to be going too fast around these corners, otherwise we're going to fall off as well. It's a fun game, actually. I really do enjoy it. That one's also these guys here with the uh, with the reins going off the screen. In fact, if I go and click this way, I think we still see... Yeah, the reins are... Oh, that one's fallen off as well. I might do it from this angle. Uh, let's um, let's just keep everything controlled here at five. We're going to have to... He does make it off. He's backed his way around. He's going to try to get into this little... Oh, no, we've got another one. It's OK, we're going to have to just go over the top of these. Uh, I need to pull back fairly dramatically here. So I'm just going to slow right down. 
Unfortunately, we're going to hit this thing and it may do damage to our horses. No, we've been able to avoid them. So everything is actually looking fairly good. So I think there's a bit of a red bar on the side there. Uh, we're traveling at three. Let's just keep everything sort of going. Oh, this one's trying to run off as well. Get off, get off. <laughs> Dive into that. Yeah, there we go. You've made it to safety. Now we're coming first, technically, because these guys have all fallen off, um, which is great. So let's now just whip, uh, not whip them up into, into any sort of speed. But we should now actually be able to, um, I can't see anyone close to us. Yeah, so they're, they're falling like nine pins. I may get away. I can't see anyone near us. I think we're the last, uh, last chariot in the race. So I'm going to move one lane out where it's relatively safe at this point in time. Yes, we are coming first. We're only still in the first lap. We've just gone and started the second lap. Now, are, they, are all the horses gone? They are. There's no other horses. So all we have to do is just win the race. Look, what I'll do is I'll, um, I'll pause this, shall I? Um, yeah, we're going f four here. So I'll just, yeah, again, don't worry about what we're sort of seeing through here. I think it's because we're the only horse left. Essentially, we're going to win anyway. Anyway, you sort of saw it's quite good fun, the actual gameplay itself. Let's just see what happens if we go back into this one. Uh, you know, we've got this one here that we have to contend with. Let's uh, just slow down because there's really no other threats anywhere. What I might just do is actually pause the uh, recordings, get the victory, and uh, maybe play another one as well. It is a fun game to play. As I say, I wasn't supposed to show the uh, campaign, <laughs> so my apologies to the devs uh, for doing that one. Um, but yeah, there's nothing else, nothing else left. We actually we're the last last one standing. Uh, we'll just go and we'll I'll stay at four to see if we can actually if we actually turn over as well. We've got to be very careful with our speed here. Anyway, I'll pause this, finish off the race, and then we'll come back and do another one. There we go. We're sort of we're making it around the corner. If I do this one through here. Um, actually, even that one's actually not too bad. So I'll just continue on. It's, it is safe for us to do this one here. Actually, that one's still got a um, that one's still got a charioteer on it as well. Well, in that case, we better be a bit careful. We're gonna have to go across the one that got splattered there. So we'll um, accelerate quickly. Yeah. So no, we we don't have it. We don't have it all our own way just yet. So let's just go slowly around this other corner. Yeah, we've got chariots all over the place here. So I'm going to now move across to the right because we're now travelling at maximum speed. We've taken no damage to our horses. Some of the other uh, horses and uh, and crews will uh, will be struggling here. Yeah, this is still only the, the second. We'll just keep it going. Now what I should do is um, is reduce speed as we sort of come into this corner here. So I will actually just go backwards one. I should be okay at four coming into this corner. But five, you saw there it was it was coloured red, which is a little bit dangerous. And uh, just keep that one stable. So the outside line is at this stage fairly secure, and the other charioteer is going to have to sort of catch up to us. So let's accelerate quickly. This is only so we've got still got one more lap after this one here. So it may still actually yeah, the horses are still okay. Their horses are fine. Our horses are fine as well. It'd be great eventually just to see if you could actually do, look around from the actual uh, from the from the Auriga itself. Actually, the driver is the I drive from the chariot, not from the Auriga. Uh, I'll just keep it going, nice and level. Yep, so it's a, uh, a two-horse race or a two-chariot race at this point in time. Just keep it coming in. And again, we want, to be, uh, we want to be decelerating as we come into this corner. We want to be going at four, so we don't want to be leaving it too much. Let's just go there and we'll just see if we can see our, um, our competitor. No, we can't see him anywhere. These horses are still running around, but of course they don't get to win. So we're in the last lap now, if we just keep the stability up. He's still, um, yeah, he's going to have to do some big actions to, um, like he's going to have to risk a lot to be able to challenge us. 
He is catching up here, actually. I'm down to three. I should have kept the one at four. I'm taking a bit of damage with one of our horses now. All right, this isn't good. He's actually... Um, I should have accelerated. Let's, um, let's get a, a move on here. So he's right behind us. Will he switch lanes? Now, he's going to have to... If he wants to uh, get in front of us, he's going to have to switch. We're now going at maximum speed. So let's actually, we can go faster by whipping our horses. I think I'll take the next line and then go as fast as I can towards the finish line. I'll just whip the horses into a frenzy, get them traveling at super speeds. These, uh, this un unmanned uh, group of horses looks like they're going to actually lap us. He's caught up nicely, this guy. He has caught up nicely. So we're still coming first. Just going to get around this corner. Now, I do want to decelerate. I'll just do one decelerate. Oh, he's gone that side. Now, if that's going to give him the possibilities of moving and getting in on the inside of us. Now, we're going at 3.9. Let's just keep the stability where it is. Oh, he's, oh this is going to get tight, guys. This is going to get really tight. Now, he is trying to slow down as fast as he can. We want to accelerate as quickly as we can now. Now, has he done too much damage to his horses? So he's actually done a, a, like a very dangerous maneuver there. We've just gone in front of him, and now we're going to, we're going to whip our guys. Yeah, there we go. We've actually won the race. Wow, that was close. <laughs> Oh, I love it. I actually love this game. I won't play anymore. I think that, that that gives a good example. Like That was actually fun, actually, just to see that one. That was pretty damn close at the end there. Uh, this is a much better race, anyway, than the other video that I had put up. So uh, I will leave it here. So, uh, yeah, we've sort of we've now won the race. We'll exit the race, and um, job done. Um, and then we can sort of play more and more. It's, um, as I say, I, I wasn't supposed to show you the campaign. Though I am most excited about the campaign mode in this game, but the races are fun. And actually, I got, I'm glad we got to see that one there. There was a lot that we did get to see with a bit of uh, bit of interaction with the other chariots. I got very, very close there at the end. That last chariot, by going on that inside run, almost got us, but then it did have to sort of do a, a dramatic braking manoeuvre to, um, to try to sort of stabilise its chariot. A lot of fun, this game. A lot of fun, uh, a lot of promise coming. So it's uh, not ready yet. Uh, I think we'd scheduled to try another multiplayer match. Um, the last multiplayer one, we didn't quite get that one. Uh, it didn't quite come together. But uh, hopefully that will be coming fairly soon. That, um, yeah, that was scheduled to be with Angry Joe, Cringer, Riding Bull and myself. And uh, yeah, really looking forward to... Um, to having another crack at uh, crack at those guys and seeing what they bring to uh, like when you're actually doing a multiplayer game of the of the game. One thing we can see through here is there are obstacles you can put onto the track as well. So you can sort of say, okay, yeah, I do want to have like mud pits or whatever else it might actually be, or this sort of broken track. Uh, Dynamic race is a real time version of this, like where you sort of are making the uh, the the changes to your chariots as you as you travel around the actual track itself so it is a dynamic race anyway i'll leave it there guys and uh, i will be showing much much more of this game as it becomes available thanks for watching and i'll catch you next time